What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So this is, what is the biggest problem with electric drums? We should be talking about this for a minute. So right here, right now, on this channel, it's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. Uh, there are three types of people that buy electric drums. Um, you have the beginner. The first thing is the beginner. This is the guy who he 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 loves drums. He or she loves drums, and she they want this drum set just so that they can practice and play, have a good time. And in their mind, in their room, they got the headphones on and they are wilding out. They are the baddest rock drummer. They are the baddest drummer on earth, and they are doing their thing and they ride now and they just learning this drum and they just they they in love with it and they play. And there is nothing wrong with that guy. That is the person I think that every drummer starts out as uh, when you start and uh, before it gets technical and be before it becomes difficult uh, that's where we all start and that guy is just into playing and he just wants to play and that's it and there's nothing wrong with that guy we all are that guy the next guy is the guy that he 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 only wants to practice and some of these guys that the guys and gals so when I say guy I mean both uh, some of these people are really, really into knowing the specs of every drum set on earth. I mean, they have looked up everything they can quote and tell you. Roland said this, Yamaha said that, and this drum, this, and they got all of this stuff. They even got some hybrid drum set that they built and put together um, for, you know, for practice. And they're, they're, they're probably not into drums as far as playing out in public um per se they're just heavy into in their bedroom practicing and they want the best sound that they could get and they have probably spent a whole lot of money on their drums now they may have an acoustic set but for the most part this is where they're going to live and that's why they know so much about that drum nothing wrong with that guy it's just that that's where they're gonna be and that's what they do. They may, like I said, they may not ever play publicly, but they love these drums. And then there's guy number three. This is the guy that he nine times out of 10 has an acoustic set, okay? He bought the drum set for a couple reasons. Number one, he wants to practice. So he got this drum set to practice, why? Because he's playing an acoustic set somewhere else. Probably gonna be gigging somewhere, uh, probably playing at church or somewhere, but he lives in a situation where he needed to be quiet, uh, but he wants to practice. So he's gonna be jumping back and forth between these two, he's probably a pro or semi-pro, um, maybe even recording drummer. Um, and got a home studio like myself and you got a home studio and you, you make records or you record drums for people uh, for, for different sessions but you don't have the ability or, or don't want to use your acoustic set so you bounce back and forth. So you have an electric set and you have that acoustic set and you know the difference between the two. So those are the three drummers. So if that's your three drummers, the beginner, that guy that just wants to practice that next step and that semi-pro pro guy that's got both, what is the problem, the number one problem uh, with an electric drum? And this is where I think this conversation is going to get good. Listen, you need to go down right now and get ready to comment. Get your little keyboards ready because I think you're going you're gonna to love this. The problem is the feel of the electric drum. Now, now, let me say this for those of you who think I'm contradicting myself when I talk about feel in other posts. I'm not talking about feel in the way that you think. Here's what I mean. As a drummer, I have an acoustic set. And I've learned that playing on an electric set has a different feel from my acoustic set in this sense. Some of what you play sometimes doesn't necessarily translate as you think it does going across to the other or the, to the acoustic set. And that is because of the sensitivity settings on this set. Uh, one of the things that I learned about playing drums, especially with practice, uh, Dennis, uh, Dennis Chambers, those of you who don't know him, go Google Dennis Chambers, check out Dennis Chambers. In a video, he talked about how he started playing and how he learned how to play. And he said that he practiced on pillows. And when I first heard that uh, as a young drummer years ago, I was like, what? I was like, man, practicing on pillows has got to be hard because there's no bounce back. And it's just gonna make it so difficult to, oh, I get it now. The difficult, 
playing, the ability to play, the, the fact that it doesn't bounce back as fast uh, is going to make it where you have to actually be able to do whatever the rudiment is or whatever it is you're trying to get out. And so by practicing on those pillows, he was able to pick up the speed and, and get what he wanted. So that when he got on an acoustic set, oh my God, Dennis Chambers is light and fast. Well, on an acoustic set, if this is your only drum, you don't necessarily have that because this thing is going to move. It is going to bounce all over the place while you're playing. And so you're gonna get, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to do things on the electric set that may not translate if you go across to an acoustic set. And I think that for uh, most drummers, if they don't recognize this, especially for beginning drummers moving on up, um, if you don't ever get a chance to play on that acoustic set or at least understand that there's a difference, you, you're gonna be shocked the moment you get on that other set. So on, a, on an electric set, you can, you can change the sensitivity in such a way where you can barely tap it and it sounds loud. With well, an acoustic set, it's not gonna do that. If you want it to play loud, you gotta play loud. If you want it to be soft, you gotta play soft. So in my estimation, I think that one of the biggest issues that we have when it comes to electric sets is that people don't understand that as for the people that's gonna move over to acoustic, you need to understand, I should say, that there's going to be a difference and a little bit of a learning curve. Don't, you know, get a chance to play on it and try that acoustic set out so that you realize that you may not sound as good as you think you do because the, the electric set uh, can hide uh, your imperfections because it will play some of the things that you know, you think you're playing it like, and it sounds like that, but on an acoustic set, it may sound different. Um, and for the guys moving across, and people who play both will probably tell you that. I know I've experienced it where you just notice there's a difference. So you just need to understand that. Um, one of the things that I, I remember, um, and I can say this because I've played on multiple sets. So that's one big thing. I, I learned that with playing with the kit, uh, one of the first rolling kits had a the kick pedal that kicked down. Uh, one of the, the Simmons SD 350 has the exact same down firing uh, kick pedal. I hated that kept Oh God, I hated that pedal. Um, but because it just didn't feel it didn't feel right. But one thing I can say is that we'll build up that muscle. So that might be a good place to just build up. But you're going to find a difference as soon as you move to a regular pedal. You're going to feel a difference. Um, another difference along with feel is because many of you guys that are playing on electric set don't understand how to tune a drum and the importance of how that what that head sounds like because a mesh head does not give you sound. So all you're doing is tightening, tightening it up and I think that some of you guys are breaking your drums, especially these snares, possibly because they're too tight. All because again, the acoustic set gives you a different feel. You're gonna learn something different that you're not gonna get on this. So understanding how to tune a drum and understanding the mesh head and how that works, understanding when the head is too hard or too tight, um, you don't necessarily get that on the mesh head because there's gonna be a little bit of a, a give that is gonna have that a plastic head or a coated head of some type is not gonna give you. And so again, it's gonna, it's gonna create a feel and a problem. You're gonna get extra bounce and things. I would suggest, I would suggest this, you do not have to do this. I would suggest loosening the heads up, not to the point where it's a bunch of bubbles, but getting it to the point where the bounce back is not as much. Or going in, changing the sensitivity, moving it down so that you get a somewhat more realistic feel to the drum when you're playing. And again, if you're moving back and forth between the two drums, you're gonna understand exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if you're just that guy that bought this thing to wild out in your, in your bedroom, hey man, play your drums and have your fun. Do your thing. But if you're the guy that's you know, possibly gonna be in public and you're not gonna be carrying this, you're gonna be carrying your acoustic set, you better take into account that you know, that switch could be a little bit different for you, okay? So yeah, man, I just think that the feel of the drum, the one problem that I can find with an e-drum is the feel, understanding the difference between the acoustic set and the E set. Understanding that if you don't set these things properly, you could be fooling yourself and thinking you're playing good and you might not be as good as you think.
Listen, man, I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you have already clicked this little button over here where you can subscribe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click this video that's on this side. And uh, man, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.